President Biden held a news conference in Rome today after the G20 summit wrapped up. He took quite a few reporter questions and covered a range of topics from global minimum corporate tax to various climate change initiatives. Peter Ducey is in Rome with a recap of the president's comments. Peter. John, the president only took five questions. Unfortunately, we were not on the list that staff handed him, but I caught him on the way to the motorcade to ask about new reporting in the Wall Street Journal about possible, possible cash payments to migrants who were separated from family members during the last administration. President, is it true that we're going to give $450,000 to border crossers who were separated? It looked like he heard me, no answer, and it's possible he's just not familiar with these reports. The president is celebrating taking one big step towards one big tax hike, elaborating on why he and his foreign counterparts all agreed to go back home and push for a global minimum tax of 15%. Right now, it's 0%, not high enough for the traveling president. Instead of nations competing against one another to track investment by bottoming out corporate tax rates, this set a minimum floor of 15 percent to ensure that giant corporations begin to pay their fair share no matter where they're headquartered instead of hiding, hiding profits overseas. The president admitted today the G20 countries who came here to Italy, representing 80 percent of the world's GDP, didn't go as far as they could have in combating climate change because they can't get two of the biggest polluters on the board since they didn't want to come. This appointment relates to the fact that Russia and, uh, and, uh, and uh, including uh, not only Russia but China basically didn't show up in terms of any commitments to deal with climate change. And there's a reason why people should be disappointed in that. Um, I, I, I found it disappointing myself. So the president is going to try harder at a climate focused summit for the next two days in Scotland. That is a wrap from Rome. And the president is doing all this without his press secretary. We just found out in the last few minutes, Jen Psaki has tested positive for COVID-19. She says she has not been in close contact with the president since last Tuesday and they were outdoors masked then. John. Better luck next time getting your questions answered. Peter Ducey from Rome. Peter, <laughs> thank you. Still to come, the migrant caravan rolling toward Texas. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.